Hello, I'm going to show you how to um, lightly service your HP EliteBook 850 G3. This particular model has 12 screws, 11 of these little rubber feet covering the screws. So what I usually do is I just take a flathead screwdriver and just push into the rubber foot and then once a little bit of it pops up I just grab it with my fingers and pull the rest out. For the sake of the video, I've already removed these screws here. So they just go along the perimeter and it's pretty obvious. Um, the only ones that you got to look out for is the one hidden underneath the SD card. So it's right here and then the one in the center. So once all those screws are out, you just take a safe pry tool, something like this. Um, I've gotten these with uh, cell phone service kits or eyeglass repair and stuff like that. But um, these can come in real handy. This particular one, uh, was a little stubborn, but basically I just kind of get it into it and then you just go along the perimeter and you'll hear it start to click and pop and once you get far enough along it should just pop right off. And granted I already have this loose just to make, make uh, the video a little bit more streamlined. Okay, so once the case is off generally the first thing I would do would be remove the battery just to make sure that there's no power going through the laptop when you're working on it. So I'll do that real quick. So just two screws and then the, the battery will lift right up. Okay. Now with the battery removed, that can fix some of the issues. If these batteries go bad, um, I have another HP Elite Book just like this where the battery bulged and it shorts out the machine. So once I removed the battery, then plugged in the AC adapter, it fixed the other one. This particular one, it didn't make any difference. On this machine, the memory module got somehow got jarred loose. And, you know, I don't know if it's, um, you know, the dim, but originally it was in this slot right here. And all I did to fix this machine was to move it over to this other dim. So I haven't yet tested to see if this dim's working. We can try it right now. So it was either reseating the RAM or maybe this module, maybe this, this dim right here has gone bad. We'll find out in a minute. But um, yeah, so if you want to upgrade this machine, you can just add a second uh, memory module here or even just a, a larger one to replace this one. Um, if you want to replace the hard drive, this is where the standard platter drive would be, the two and a half inch. And it looks like there'd be four screws. And then this enclosure would lift out. So you'd have your SATA connector right here. This particular one already had an M.2 SATA installed. Um, looks like here's your wireless. Uh, right here is your heat sink and fan assembly. So in the grand scheme of things, this laptop's very easy to service for the, the majority of the things that you're going to need. Um, I do like some of the other HP Elite books where they just have like a couple of physical switches and you just press the switch and the whole panel comes off and you don't have all these rubber feet to deal with. But I mean, it took me maybe five minutes to, to get this off, so that was no big deal. But uh, let's see if this still boots up after putting it back in that faulty dim. I have a feeling it was just loose. I don't think the dim's bad. I mean, and that's really rare. And I'll properly reseat this in a minute. I just want to see what happens when I try to fire it up here. So initially, when I first got this one, oh, got some beeps now. That's not what it was doing originally, but it might have had a weak battery when I first got it. Originally, what it was doing is the uh, lights would come on and then just flash right back off. So let's see here. You know, I have to admit that this feels really floppy and loose. You know, and this memory chip looks fine. Maybe there's something loose in that dim. Let me put it back over here. 
that feels tighter to me. It feels like there's less play in it. So there might, maybe there's something wrong with that dim. Right, hopefully you can still see that. No beeps. So looks like it's going to work. It's going to boot back up into Windows. So for this particular machine, I'm actually going to place a warranty claim and have the motherboard replaced. But I just wanted to show you guys that there's some basic troubleshooting you can do. Um, I mean, I've been doing this for years, but it's pretty straightforward if you're comfortable turning a screwdriver. There was nothing that complex with what I just did there. So hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know.